Hi, and welcome to a new quick solution from Scalefree. My name is Markus Lewandowski, and today I will show you the basic objects, the standard data model of the sales cloud. And therefore, um, I will show you my brand new playground from Trailhead, uh, where we can just go into all of the objects that are needed. And in the end, we will also check out how all of those objects are connected to each other. So the most basic sales cloud object would be the account. The account stores um, the, the customer data. That, that's basically, that's your customers. So all accounts, that's all of my customers. Um, you can go into them and um, you can check the details tab that you have all of the um, master data for your accounts. Obviously you can customize it um, to fit your needs. Um, and you have the activity on the right side. You can also have chatter um, you can customize the whole page. Um, and you can also see all the related objects. So most of the things in the sales cloud are in some way or another related to an account. So um, the most important things are contacts. Contacts are typically the people inside of a company. Um, they typically have a role, they have a title. Um, they might have a specific role inside us, an opportunity. An opportunity is the next thing that is like the possibility that you can sell something to this account or to um, certain contacts. And you can see opportunities are linked here as well. Cases, that is more of a service um, service part. We will cover this in another video. Um, more very important objects of the sales cloud include the leads. And the lead is nothing else but like a potential customer. A lead can be converted into an account and contacts and maybe also an opportunity, which is optional. Um, but we covered that already in another video that you can check out um, just here. So those are the most important objects. Opportunities, accounts, contacts, and leads. Um, most likely you will also encounter some more like secondary objects. For example, tasks. When you, for example, have an opportunity, you can add new tasks to, to that opportunity or to an account. Um, for example, maybe you want to um, send a quote. Like you want to send a quote at the latest of like the 14th of December this year. Um, and you've not started working on it, or maybe this is already in progress, you're working on the quote already. So you can put this in as a task, and then that's another object. You can um, click on that, and a task will open up. Also, on an opportunity, you can have products. And products are structured in price books. So when you want to add a product, you can do so by clicking Add Product. Um, by default, it will take the standard price book here, but you can also um, have your custom price books. Um, you can adjust them. You can have different price book splits, for example, per company or per customer group. Um, and now you can select a product. For example, um, let's take this one here and then this one maybe this installation product here, no service level agreement, go for next, um, one of those and one of those, um, one hour of installation time should be sufficient. And maybe we can also like Add a date in here uh, because now there will be holiday in the end of December. So uh, this can be installed um, earliest possible date would, would be maybe the Friday. Okay, so now what happened is we added some products here um, and this actually includes two objects. So no, obviously the products, the price book, but also when you click one of those products here, you see that you don't open up products, but you open up uh, opportunity products. That is a junction object, or it's like a, an object in between 
the product and the opportunity. So um, that's what you have to look out for in the data model. So how does it look like on a diagram? Let's go and head for the setup and head, schema, sorry, um, let's head for the schema builder. And here you can actually um, see the whole data model um, of, scale, of Salesforce. Um, let's zoom out a little bit and you can already see down here, down here how messy this is. So nobody is going to understand anything in this mess. So we will start out by clearing all objects like that. And now we are going to get the accounts so now we have the accounts. Um, you remember um, most of the objects are for some uh, at some point re somewhere related to the account. Um, zoom out a little bit, and now we are going to get all of those other objects that we just discovered in the UI. So maybe go for the opportunity. Uh, opportunity is connected to the account. Um, we have let's go for products. And here we see, oh, products, no relationship to opportunities. And this is because we have this opportunity product object in between that we've seen once we clicked on the product on the opportunity. Um, maybe also let's add the contact and be careful not to uh, get the contract. That's also an, an object in the core platform. And it's spelled quite similarly to contact. So that's uh, something that happens a lot um, to new Salesforce users. They confuse contact and contract because on this Zoom level, it's really hard to uh, distinguish from each other. Uh, let's get in lead, for example, as well. And see, okay, lead, no direct connection to those, right? But um, in the conversion process, um, they're getting connected. Um, and we can also go for task. And that's where it's starting to get messy because the task can be associated with a lot of objects. And so you can see, okay, a task is um, connected to all of those. Um, and this is where, where the object basically gets messy. Let's quickly check if we missed anything. Maybe the price books. And there we have like, okay, that's the price book. Oh, hmm. only connected to an opportunity. That's, that makes sense. Um, the opportunity has a price book associated to it, but why is the price book not associated to the product? Yeah, basically there we have the price book entry, right? So you have to keep that in mind that the price book is not directly related to the product, but it will always go through the price book entry. Um, okay. So I think we got like we got most of the important ones. There are additional ones like asset, campaign, case that um, that might be relevant to you, but most of them like the the basics order and um, the basics of the of the sales cloud data model should be covered by those objects. If you want to learn something about the processes of the sales cloud, just watch out on the website. There will be more videos. Um, for the basics and we will also cover um, more advanced topics. Um, see you soon. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.